Okay, let's push here. Let's see what we've got today. Feeling a bit tired, so maybe we're gonna just take a little bit of time. Find a half decent. Mm, I think we can still bring the bishop out. Okay. looking to take here but I don't really want to advance their bishop but I don't have anything going I might just castle yeah let's just castle don't need to get carried away just because there's a bit of dishevelment going on we need to get our other pieces into the game bishops coming oh he's got a nice attack on here let's just push this pawn to stop that basic Positioning. Yeah, so they're developing their pieces. So we could bring our knight out. Maybe here to come and attack the pawn. Maybe. No, because then the pawn will just take. Let's just bring the knight out. no material advantage or anything um, it's just the case of the king can't go on castle uh, traditionally but they seem to want to be pressing towards our king area I'm not sure what the knight move was unless of course it is looking to do do you know what I think he's gonna do he's gonna take we're gonna take his bishops gonna take we're gonna take and then his queen is in front of our king so he can get a draw. That's what I think they're going to do. So I'm going to bring our knight here. Just help support. Because they're just going to go maverick. Hopefully I'm trying to cover off the blind spot. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they would have done. King's moved. No checks on the king at all. Could take the pawn. I mean, the bishop then is on the pawn here. Mm. Make space for the queen, maybe, to come across and come across here. It's a long term. Bishop's got no protection on it at the moment. Okay, let's take... I mean, obviously the bishop's going to be blocking this square, so we can't go there. Shall we feed them the knight? So this uh, player is full of tricks, smaller pieces, like a higher piece, it can't be wrong, can it? If we bring this here, then the bishop takes the knight, we bring the bishop all the way back. Got an x-ray through to their knight, so I think we'll do that. Queen's getting into the party. Could continue with what we said. It's pushing the pawn here. We've got an X-ray through onto the knight. 
queen's gonna have to move but it does have a two on one on our knight so if we push here the queen's going to take so our queen takes his bishop takes and then we can take the knight off the board so it's still even stevens isn't it hmm is there anything magical the knight can do <clears throat> could come back and attack the bishop queen's on the pawn so maybe the bishop moves here so then he's got two on this pawn could support just bring the pawn up supporting <clears throat> I'm just going to support all the others seem to be given. He's highly advanced with his pieces though, which is good. Probably expect the rooks to get into the game. We'll be looking for the smaller piece attacking a higher piece, obviously, if it's still there. Maybe the queen moves so that this pawn hits the knight. Lots of maybes. If buts. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Going for a capture, so he's going for the simplifying the whole thing. Damn. If we rush to take the bishop, queen can come down and take our bishop. Just take with the pawn. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Obviously, it's going to move. The knight will escape going to here. So when it lands there, what do we do next? Any plans? Queen coming here. Queen coming here, attacking the pawn. I don't think that would be any good though. Rook comes here and they get this pawn. Owning the file, bring the rook across. It's nice jumping into this safe haven. Don't like them apples. Press the pawn here, blocking that off. Yeah, let's do that first. Ownership of the file, get the rook across, go for a rook exchange maybe. This pawn's a little bit loose really, another queen's on it. But if he gets this then he's extraing through to the king, so we'll potentially be moving the king up. And that's my brain going into overdrive, so I'll just chill. Knight's move, so what's the knight really wanting to do? Is he coming all the way around? Maybe not to there, but he could go there. He's coming all the way around to go around here. Let's just go with the rook. Try and potential ownership of the file, basic stuff. So he moved there dead quick, so he's got a plan. I mean, this um, pawn is being attacked. Go for an exchange, doubles our pawns. Gives us a little space for the rook coming here, supporting, but also if we can get our queen up, 
need to get the fuck across basic ownership of the file if we have time to do that I don't think we are though I think he's going to Ooh, what's this now so we get to even out the pawns what are we missing what we're we missing they seem to be moving a bit quicker let's just grab oh we can't take because of the x-ray we said we were supposed to move the king didn't we ah. that's why they were moving so fast let's uh, move then shall we All right, so the shifting around. This king's a little bit airy. And shall we? If we do that, we're blocking again, blocking the pawn, so the queen's going to take. So we're going to have to move the rook to face the king. And still, it's even Stevens on the material. Seems like a lot's happened, but obviously it hasn't. We're shuffling our pieces around. Knight's coming here, attacking the rook maybe, and the pawn. So in, it's, in a sense, he actually wins the pawn, don't he? Because I can't do anything about that. Apart from get, if he does go dead, then obviously we get a check on the king. So it wins a bit of tempo, but in essence he's still on our rook and he's on the pawn. And the rook can't move to protect the pawn, so the knight would actually be able to take the pawn off the board. Oh, take that pawn, <laughs> whichever way around, okay. And he's landed on a white square, which is a bit fortunate, isn't it? Okay, so he's taken a pawn, I can take a pawn. With a check on the king. Doesn't mean much though, because where am I going? He's still going to get this pawn here, and his rook knight is still on my rook. So it's not a very good position for me because I have to move the bishop out of the way or bring the rook here to attack their uh, knight. So I think I'll be down a pawn, but maybe positionally might be a bit better. I'm hoping well, it's not doing. It's gone on a white square again, still. Yeah, they're very knowledgeable, aren't they? I don't think this. Something doesn't feel right. Let's attack the knight. Behind the knight is the pawn. Does he have a check on our king? I don't know, I think he's just going to take the bishop. Yeah. Let's just take. Rook comes down to defend. No. Oh, he's got a check on my king. And he's grabbed the pawn. So if you move the king, you just move the rook down. Let's attack the queen. So I'm hoping the tempo of bringing, bringing the rook to protect this pawn is only going to have 
one piece protecting the pawn so we can take but it's going to be an exchange for the queen which is going to be a bit annoying isn't it yeah so if we triple then he goes there it's still the same picture isn't it Rook takes, queen takes, rook takes, queen, although we do get the queen off the board if it goes that route. It's just that this rook taking would have a check on the king, but I don't know if that's too much to worry about, is it? Keeping the pressure on somehow. So if we go here, just to check on the king. Obviously they're going here. And but the queen is protecting this square. So if we did go there, his rook takes, queen take. So that's why the queen's probably gone there. So we could put a check on with this rook here. And we still got the three. I don't think it's gonna work though, is it? And then he goes there, or maybe he goes here, so that he's staying on here. Then we bring the rook across, put a check on. Or do we bring the queen across? across here, check, and well, then he goes for the exchange though, brings his queen across, then we go up with a check on the king, king goes back, take the queen off the board, Pawn takes. Hmm, not sure. This must be some sort of advantage here. Let's just put a check on for now. If we want to greedy ones, maybe go for a pawn here and then get this rook here. Actually running the far corner. Right. Still on a white square. But we've got three here. I thought it would have gone there, you see, to protect. So if we go one, check, rook takes, rook takes, check. King hides in the corner. It's not clear cut, is it? King hides in the corner, Queen comes up to attack the Queen. And maybe he ignores that and just takes this pawn here. We take the Queen, his King takes. And then he's got this pawn here that is going to start corralling down, isn't it? Hmm. 
it feels good but then I don't think it's that good. I'm gonna go for it anyway, I've got to keep it as simple as possible. Yeah, yeah he's moving straight away. Hmm. Yeah, it's not appealing really is it? It's, I don't think he'll take, I think he's just gonna take this. So he's a pawn up. If he takes that and he doesn't take, then we can take his pawn. But the problem we've got is he's well, he's gonna have a check on our king, isn't he? That's why we're deliberating. There. Then he comes down, he's got a check on our king. Yeah, we don't want them apples. So if we hit his king, queen, sorry. Still the same thing, isn't it? <laughs> what am I doing? He's going to get the check on the king. So I might as well just move my queen up a little bit, Anta, just to protect. Yeah, let's do that. So it all comes down to this check on the king. Does it? I don't know. Oh, he's going for the exchange. We do have a check on his king with the queen, but the rook is going to block, isn't it? So if we take, his rook takes, he's on our pawn. So we're then going to have to defend the pawn with the rook. If we go there, we've got the check on, but the rook comes here. Basically just wants to replace that piece. Mm. <laughs> I can't even do anything fancy like moving here to attack here type stuff because it's that check on the king. Things in the tempo. If we go there, I can still escape there even if we did do that. Take rook, take rook down. King starts coming down. Check. Rook comes across and blocks. Rook down, attacking the rook. No, we can't do that because of this damn thing. Check on the king. Okay, now let's have a look at the old candidate thing then. Position. It's moving away from protecting this pawn, which has a check on the king, which gives them a tempo. Check. Rook. Ideally, we want to come here to put pressure on the rook, but by the time we do that, rook, check on our king, taking the pawn. Move the king to a dark square. They've got dark square diagonal to put check on the king. If we defend with one of the pawns, it can come down. That's right, we can see. So the queen comes up, puts a check on. Push the pawn up. would be it for that continuation but it can't go there because the rook hold is taken anyway interesting times let's break that down queen check rook comes here bring the rook down attacking their rook 
So I've got two on one. We're assuming they're going to take the pawn with a check on the king. Move the king up. So that diagonal is covered by the rook. Their upper pawn. They're going to want to protect their rook. So they're going to come back again, aren't they? So they'll come back up. Protecting the rook because it's got a two on one. So when it comes back up, we take, queen takes, and we take the pawn here. But that pawn's a little bit faster than all that, all of ours, isn't it? So there's no point in doing that. So I think it's just going to be a simple capture here, isn't it? Rook takes and then bring the rook down. Hmm. Oh, is there a position here? Does that look any better? Not, no, not really. Oh, what about this one? There. Protecting the king. So then he can't, oh my, he's got a two on one on the pawn. But we've got the check on the king, so he has to deal with the check first. Oh, this is getting interesting. So okay, coming across here, still protecting the pawn. Rook comes across, bring the rook down. The queen is still there defending though. <laughs> so I don't know why I'm getting excited about that. All right, okay, we can still do that. Check on the king, rook comes. Bring the rook down, attacking the pawn. Or pawns. He's got a two on one though, don't forget. So he's gonna take, take, rook takes. We take, oh we're back in that position again with that pawn. Okay. Looks like I'm just taking <laughs> after all that. And just bring that down. Try for an active king. That's getting shot down. No, it's not. Take with this one because he wants the rook to get a check on the king. I suppose we can take this pawn here.
So they've dropped. But am I missing something? That's got to hurt. Oh, well, that was very interesting. This opponent had, well, in my eyes, I mean, I'm like I say, I feel a bit tired, but um, still, opening wise, maybe I didn't maybe play the best moves, um, but the opponent was looked fairly strong opening mid game, and it was just the end game where it looked like we seemed to be gaining a little bit of an advantage bit more initiative and working our mini team together a little bit anyway I think that'll be the last one for today I'm gonna have a quick look at the analysis on this one I'm not playing another one today so I might as well do the analysis see what the deal is yeah, they're still watching so they must have done a computer oh, I wonder if they've done a computer analysis thing oh they haven't damn normally they jump straight to it uh, maybe they're analyzing too What errors I made in this early part because it felt like I was Action, captures. Okay, putting a check on the king. Okay, so we've got a nice. Ooh, it doesn't like that. Let's see, not to be too bothered, bothered about that. Let's see, just take this here. I suppose it's thinking, well, the king can just move here, the bishop's. Yeah, so it's gonna have to move again. No well, computers think differently, don't they? Let's go here. So it's nothing major actually. Oh, it doesn't look like that knight move. It's going for this again, taking this pawn. Hmm. Let's go here. Wow, look at that plus 3.2. And that was a tough move on their part. Uh, we did say, I don't know what that knight was doing there, but we thought maybe they were going to go for all this shenanigans of take, taking, taking, take, take, bishop takes, and then the queen's in front of my... Because I've seen that done before. But it's showing that it's a minus 4.5 there. Knight takes d4. That's a bit hearty, isn't it? Who's going to think of doing that? Is this going to come into play at some point? It takes. And then it's saying take this. Oh no. I don't know how that's working. Definitely not. I think I'd have shocked myself if I'd have come out with that night move. Okay, so we lost the advantage of taking this miraculous D4 bomb. <laughs> So it's even Stevens at the moment. Captures, captures, bring the knight up. Queen comes down. So it's fairly comfortable at the moment then, isn't it? It's starting to dip a little bit now, so we've 
looking to own the file doesn't like that rook move doesn't like the rook move what does it want queen d7 so it wants the queen to come here apparently got all this rook business coming here have I chosen the wrong one d7 oh sorry I chose the wrong one my bad my bad there, queen d7. Right, okay, that, that's a little bit better. Okay, so push down, captured, and obviously we can't take. So move the king. Okay, so a bit of an advantage, even Stevens. Yeah, a bit of an advantage. The king's a little bit airy now, but it's still not clear on how to get in there. The equal material is just trying to find a better position. So attacking the knight. Queen comes down, so we can block it off. All pretty steady. So we're massively winning at this point, up to a point anyway. But I don't think we. So we can grab. Yeah, around this point we thought there's something, but I don't think we did it the best. I just want to see what needed to be done, really. Okay, put the check on the king. Doesn't like that. Mm. Rook takes f2. Also, it's going greedy munching. It's going greedy munching. We did cover off all of that, but I thought, well, we're not going to be... Maybe we're going to end up losing this pawn if we're then trying to get this rook up here, you know, to put pressure towards the king sort of thing. Uh, maybe the computer's not thinking that way, but that's the way I would have been thinking if I was greedy munching the pawn. Our king was just too airy, really. So we pushed up. Okay, so it's never here nor there. It's even Stevens, really, again. We've been the queen up after a long debate about protecting the pawn. And the queen comes down, we capture. Doesn't like the capture, but it's not a major queen d5 check. Ah, you see, it's going for the check. But it's nothing major. Well, I bet it doesn't move very much. Nah, it's nothing major. Forget that. Yeah, capturing, capturing, safe options. Right, yeah, I feel fairly comfort. I feel really quite happy now because we chose we, sh we chose movements that didn't really make us bad. They didn't disadvantage us. Um, they just didn't keep the major advantages that we had. But in no way, shape, or way was it bad. So I think that's what's making me feel fairly happy. Let's see what this position starts looking like now. So we wanted to go for the active king. Oh, look at that, that's nice. Yeah, okay, happy with that. I felt like it was getting a bit more productive coming up here. But let's just let's see what the... doesn't like that. Right, F5. That's going for lockdown. I'm, I wasn't interested in locking down. No, 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 no. More potential for equalising in my head doing that. Yeah, I'd rather have some of that takes although i did think he was going to take with the f pawn like it's suggesting you know because he wants the rook to put a check on the king at some point but in any event i didn't feel like that was going to be too hard a shake so i'm sorry computer i have i like this i like the pawn move that i did they captured still drawish at this moment in time um, I'm not forced because I feel fairly happy with the position that I've got. You could say it could turn out to be a draw, but just from the position of my king, I was just thinking we've got a little bit more play in terms of what's actually on the board now. So we can move up and attack and start pushing this pawn. And yeah, I, didn't. I thought the bar would have gone sky high for us there actually. Because at that point when they'd moved that pawn down, I thought, oh, this is it. We're going to have options of actually grabbing this pawn or options of coming around and grabbing this pawn. Because this pawn is going to be faster than his pawn once we get them moving. But it's not showing that. It's saying it's a draw. Interesting. 
So now we come down and attack the pawn. I'm thinking I'm out and out winning here, really. In the back of my head, I'm thinking, oh yeah, this should be okay. He's got it as a draw. This movement definitely, I felt, sealed their fate. Because now we can take the pawn. We've got a nice passer. Um, I don't think anything can stop it. But what is it showing? It's showing that uh, Rook D7 protecting the pawn. Maybe that would have been a problem if they had. Hmm, yeah, okay. So we went there. Yeah, I thought maybe. Are they suggesting that it could have taken and then worked its way around the back, something? Nah, it's still showing a massive advantage for us there. Oops, what did I press? Okay, so they move the king up, so I don't think there's much stopping this pawn getting promotion at some point. But then they brought the king down and we're x-raying through to the rook. So we'd get the rook for free. And at that point the opponent resigned. So all in all, yes, um, that was a fairly even Stevens game type thing. You know, basically finding the basic moves. Just got a bit of an advantage towards the end game. Interesting game.